Here we are again. Back in the realm of the man with the amazing chest. Um, and the thing that shoots lightning at me that I haven't actually bothered to fight yet. I don't know what to do first. I have a, a few different things that I could try and do. Uh, I could go up to the attic of the church and go through the white light up there and see what is through there, try and fight it, whatever it is. I could go down here and try and fight this thing, or I could go past it like I did last time and just um, explore Darkwood Garden a bit more. Uh, I think what I am going to do is just to get a lay of the land, I'm going to go up to the white light in the church and see what is up there. Just to, I'd, I'd prefer to know um, more clearly what my options are for um, for the future of my playing this. I'm going to have to fight a few things on my way back there, but I would have to eventually anyway, so uh, no harm. This path is still ominous and I still don't know why there were people who died on it, but there were. Maybe they were fighting these guys, I don't know. That's possible, but I don't know why that would be such a problem for them. I say that, I'm probably about to get killed by them right now. It's a bit awkward that they're all out there, and I can't really lure them in here very easily. Because it's not... Well, I can lure them in, but it's not the best place to fight them, because it's so narrow. Might be alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. I don't think this is a massive problem. Ah, how have you been since last recording anyway? I don't know why I'm talking to you like I'm streaming. I'm not actually streaming, I'm just recording. My social anxiety will not allow me to, to stream live yet. Maybe I'll work up to that, but for now I'm recording so that I do not have to worry about what people are saying in chat, or if anyone's watching, I don't just get distracted going, oh god, there's someone actually watching now. Like, I can just relax, safe in the knowledge that no one is watching, and if I say something horribly inappropriate, um, which I, 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 I'm not the sort of person who would do that deliberately, but I'm the sort of person who might accidentally say something that sounds like that, um, while I'm while I'm trying to tiptoe around an issue um, sensitively, I'm the sort of person who might really get it wrong and, and say the exact wrong thing. Um, there was no malice involved, but that does not make it okay necessarily. So nice to have the ability to edit my video, even though I don't do it. Oh, I just died. Um, I say I don't edit. I might edit that out because that was embarrassing. Ah, what the hell. I've had three episodes of me dying in, in very um, silly ways already, so no harm in another one of those. Right, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get back into this. Not in the zone yet. Need to get back in the zone. Huh. You guys, get in here. Come on. Oh, crap. Come on, you you get in here. There we go. Need to set myself little mini challenges like I'm gonna do this with bit without getting hit at all because that that sort of thing if I manage to like master fighting these guys that will be helpful in the future like just not having my health gradually chipped away by these inconsequential battles that's a kind of a that's probably an underrated sort of element of being good at this game is just to be okay at the small battles like even though they... I, I mean, I say they're not going to kill you, but 
This one did kill me last time. Admittedly, this guy is a little bit tougher than the guys downstairs. Oh. Okay. Right. Back off. And wait for him to stop thrusting. Uh, I can't think of a innuendo that's the right level of subtle and not incredibly obvious, so I will not bother. Ooh, right, okay. Cool. Uh, what, wait, what was that? Oh yeah, read that one already. Come on, out you all come. Ooh, that's a scary dog noise in real life. Hope this game doesn't eventually start invading your real life. That would be a little worrying. It's no penny arcade strip about. Oh god, about Ninja Gaiden and um, how if you play it on hard, then a guy comes to your door and like slices your friend in half. In real life, that is. It's funnier if you actually read the comic. That one almost stuck with me. Um, right. Let's try and actually not die on the way to the white light this time. Because there's no reason to. Okay, I need to be more careful. I didn't use an Estus flask there at all. I should have been keeping an eye on my health, but I was just like, oh, they're not going to kill me, though. That's exactly what I was talking about not doing a minute ago. Like, I need to... I need to be more bloody careful. That's what I need to do. Right. Right. need for a potion yet. Let's just lure everyone through this narrow doorway and not let them get on top of me. Also, don't just use up all my stamina flailing wildly at nothing. It's also probably a good strategy. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Right, I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna drink an Estus flask. And I'm gonna get hit unnecessarily by that guy. Okay. Oh, for God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Okay. Right, 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 right. I'm okay, I'm okay. Right, all I want to do this time, I'm setting my expectations very modestly. All I want to do is get up to the white light and see what is up there. Go through and probably die. But at least I'll know. At least I'll know then. <sighs> right. Weakness lightning. Traverse the white light. Here we go. Here we bloody go. Oh my god. So I'm on a roof and there are gargoyles. 
And I'm sure they're not going to come to life or anything. Obviously that would never happen. I'm just going to walk very slowly. And hope that means that the... Oh, okay. Suddenly cutscene. love to know if there's going to be more of them. Like, are all, all, all of them going to come to life, or is it just going to be this one? I'd love to know that before I get too invested in this, so I don't, like, defeat this guy and go, yay, I did it, and then I've got, like, six more to fight or something. I mean, I'm probably getting ahead of myself there. Like, I, I'm not in any danger of defeating him right now. I just died. Um... Bell gargoyle. Does that mean I'm near the bell that that guy at the Firelink Shrine was talking about? It might actually mean that. Like, it could be at the top of that tower over there. Seems almost too good to be true that it's right there. Um, it's weird that, like, other players, like, they, they look fully solid when they're near bonfires. I don't know what that's about. Anyway. So that gargoyle seems like a nightmare to fight. So let's go down here and see about this lightning guy. He's probably a nightmare too, let's be honest. Right. Are you a nightmare? A nightmare? No. Okay, I'm going to go and look at that graffiti over there. And hope that that guides me truly and I'm going to get killed immediately. Oh god, okay. Does this guy ever actually move or is he just locked there but he shoots at you? And it seems like he's locked there. What's the... Yeah, it is over here. Can I even read it? seem to get up there and I can't seem to read it from down here that's kind of wait am I missing something Ugh. okay someone just put that there to troll people who are trying to fight the boss um, let me just I'm just going to try and get as far as hitting it once or twice to see how much damage I do. It doesn't have a boss health bar, which is mildly encouraging, I guess. Like, usually if, if it's one of the major bosses, it will have a separate health bar at the bottom. It's missing a leg, this thing. And a head, it looks like. Is it, is it Gargoyle? Might actually be another gargoyle, but like it's got bits missing. Hmm. Didn't seem to do much damage there. Maybe I should. Maybe it's not weak to physical attacks or something. It could be that it. Um, lightning is. I mean, everything seems to be weak to lightning according to the graffiti around. See any? Still don't have any better weapons than this battle axe. But we'll keep it for now. Um, okay, let's go into Dark Rick Garden. Right, I've tried. I've briefly tried the the gargoyle on the roof. I've briefly tried fighting this thing here. Neither of them go down in one hit, as I was hoping they magically would. So I'm just going to keep going and. Um, try exploring Dartwood Garden more. Because the things in there didn't seem quite this tough. I mean, they're, they're just normal enemies. They're not 
they're not bosses, I don't think, so... Um, I'm sure there are tougher enemies in here somewhere, but... That's... Future Alex's problem, and who cares about him? Certainly not me. Okay. Let's... Let's have another go at this, shall we? This, this is already going worse than it did last time. I feel like I'm going to die immediately. Don't hit me. There we go. Right. two of them at once in a minute, which was a slight problem for me. Oh god. Yeah, there's one. I seem to just, my attack seems to just like, swish through them sometimes. I don't know what that's about. There's a evasion move that they do or something. Yeah, I barely seem to be hitting this guy. Right. Come here. Okay. Blood red moss clump. you kindly get off me? There we go. Right, was there a way along here? I'm just gonna see if this is a branch that comes to an end. This is... This place feels very much like I could get lost in it quickly. There's that bridge I saw before. Blood stain. Could be my own blood stain from last video if for all I know, I don't know if that actually happens. If you could see your own blood stains. Yeah, there were two at once at some point. Let's try and get this guy first. Just don't creep up on me like that, you bast. Okay, there we go. There we go. for moving so slowly and tentatively. I'm just very determined not to miss anything. Okay, don't want to fall down there. What is that? Is this a door that I need a thing to open? Why are there so many blood stains around it? Illusory wall ahead. And then there's more of these graffiti things that are inaccessible. Apparently, anyway. Looked by some contraption. Oh, there's a way through there as well. Bonfire. Sure, why not? Hello. 
Be another player. It must be. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, whoever wrote that. Uh, just up your rating there. Walked by some contraption. Right, I can gonna go around this way and see if there's anything. No, there's more white light lying in ambush ahead. Does that mean over there? I'm guessing it means through there, not through the white light. Because that's sort of like pretty much given with white light. Okay. Should I drink an Estus flask before I do this? Yeah, because I'm just scouting the place out. And I just found a bonfire, so there's going to be something horrible here, isn't there? Is that going to be a that's going to be a thing that comes to life, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Jesus, okay. Right, get back, get back, get back. Oh dear. Might not even have been worth picking that up, to be honest. There we go. No Estus flasks left. Um, I could just go back to that bonfire. I don't think I'd lose any progress then, because I don't think I've killed anything apart from these guys, and I could just not trigger them. Yeah, let's do that. Not the most adventurous thing to do, but if I'm going through white light, I want to be at least vaguely prepared. Are you? Yeah, actually, you're definitely another player, right? Confused as why he's just standing there. Oh well. White light. My favourite. And I still I also need to go that other route that I saw before. Oh god! These guys are now permanently there. That's not good. Oh well. I sort of wish that I hadn't got that thing now. It probably wasn't worth it to have to deal with these bastards over and over again, but Oh well, how was I to know? I had no warning whatsoever. Right. Hide around the corner. Help me with your branches. There we go. Oh well. If these things ever, if I actually find a use for those things, then. I'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Right. What bad thing is through here? Oh, it's one of those ones that just leaves it open, I think. That's nice. What the flip is this place? Try hitting them in one swoop. You lose your reward ahead. Oh, it's not an illusory wall, but it's a tree that you can knock down. Something, anyway. <clears throat> does feel slightly like, um, by this point, like, the messages have become they they pretty much cover every secret. Maybe maybe I'm not maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe there were ones I'm missing, but like it does feel like for every secret or every like surprise there's a message to prepare you for it now by this point in the in the game's lifespan. And they they tend to be the ones that get upvoted a lot. 
What on earth are you? You're like a flatfish, but you're on land. Okay. Probably a mercy to kill you. Oh god, I'm gonna get so lost. I was playing No Man's Sky yesterday because I was having a bit of a emotional breakdown and I wanted a comfort game to play and this didn't really sort of scratch that itch and I got completely lost in a series of caves. It was really... Why is there a... Why is this tree rotating and then lifting up? Uh... Are you an ant, sir? I'm not going to hit you, because I'm worried about what you'll do to me. But I'm also worried that you're going to kill me anyway. It's very dark in Dartwood Garden. Okay. Don't see anything there. Oh god. I have no idea what to expect in this bit. It's like weird vines here. Oh crap, okay. There's a bunch of these flatfish, land flatfish. The last one wasn't that hard, but three at once I'm not thrilled about. Are these the things that I was supposed to kill in one swoop? I don't really have a weapon that can do that much damage. I'm trying to kill them quickly in case they have some secret horrible attack that they're building up to because at the moment they don't seem they don't really seem like they're enough of a threat to be at home in this game the question is are they just one of those enemies that exist to chip your health away on the way to bigger enemies or are they do they have a secret that is at some point going to make itself known and be the death of me. Still no sign of it. Give me that. Or is you going to fall off a cliff? Not good that green blossom is, but maybe it does something. Soul of a proud knight. Really not getting as many souls as I was back in the Undead Burg. I felt like I was leveling up at a reasonable pace then, and oh bloody hell, what are you? Didn't even see that thing. Crikey. Are you coming? Yeah, you are coming to kill me. I thought maybe you were just going for a walk. Oh my god. You're not going to go down easily, are you? I can just tell from looking at you. That is a small mercy of this game, like, you can usually tell from looking at an enemy roughly how hard it is going to be to kill. So far, anyway. It's not like one of those... Oh, well. It's not like one of those um, RPGs where they're kind of joke enemies that are tiny, but they do an insane amount of damage. I mean... To be honest, I wouldn't be. I, I, I would be surprised if by the end of this game there wasn't something like that. It seems like exactly the sort of thing this game would do, but I haven't stumbled across it yet. Oof. Right. You guys can die, please. Okay. So if you have your shield up, it doesn't protect you from that. That's good to know.
Good to know, not fun to find out. Like, a lot of things in life. Even the point of retrieving this, there's nothing. Nothing. Where are you? There you are. Hello. No. Looks like it was winding up to do that. Unpleasant attack on me there. Will you just stop it? God, I'm gonna die again. These things are pretty annoying. Not least because they look just, they look like um, the people dressed as trees that you get in, in sort of children's drama group pantomimes, and I speak from experience there. Like, they don't look threatening, they look like they're sort of extras that have been, like, Look like they're the people who like couldn't get a leading role or even like a supporting role, so someone was just like, I just put on this tree costume and and stand in the background of this forest. Um and you'll you you'll be just as important as all the all the demons and undead and everything. Trust me. Oh my god. Regretting making fun of them now. My point is they should not be this fearsome. They should not be able to do this much damage. Ah. Oh. They should not be complacent. First time I fought one I didn't have a problem because it was like... I didn't ex I didn't know what to expect, so I was like treating them as if they might be the new big scary thing that's going to be killing me for the next two hours. And then because I've killed that one fairly quickly, I've got complacent, and now I'm, now they are killing me for the next two hours. Some sort of self fulfilling prophecy or paradox or something that can't be bothered to parse any further than it seems somewhat ironic. But it may not be, according to the very strict definitions of irony some people have. Irony is one of those words that I feel like at some point we're just going to have to accept that it no longer means what it once meant. Like, stop fighting the the sort of meaningless meaning of it. I don't know, because people, some people would say the same of it literally, but I'm still in the sort of brigade that says literally should probably be, you should be reserved for actually literally rather than figuratively, because we're running out of words that actually mean that mean literally. Like, there's not many others. And if we start muddying the waters, then who knows what could happen? The populist right could could make disturbing games all across the the Western world. Oh wait. Oh god, there's another one of those things. Oh my god, there's two of those things. What the bloody hell. Oh, this is horrible. I thought this place was quite nice. Like, I thought it was relatively chilled out in a sort of 
spooky, like, dark, moist, mossy way, but now I see that it's actually a, a nightmare, like everywhere else. <laughs> oh, thank you! Thank you very much! Yeah, that, that's a great piece of advice. I take back what I've said about all these these hints being helpful. Some of them are just sarcastic. Okay. Oh, for, get away, you bloody thing. Oh, great. More white light. Up. Thanks. Listing your favourite Pixar films now. This is not great. Look at this. I've got a procession of things waiting to fight me. I don't even want to kill this thing because at least I, can, I know that I can... Well, let's not even finish that sentence. Oh my god. Are those things stuck down there? Um. Okay, that was good. That's good. You guys do that. What? You just do what he just did. That was a solid strategy there. There we go. Oh no, I don't think it killed them though. Hey guys. I'm just gonna traverse the white light. Moonlight butterfly. I've heard of this, but I have no idea... Oh, Christ. Hello. I feel like I'm just blundering into one situation that I'm vastly underprepared for after another, and not really pausing to try and actually fight any of the things that I might stand a chance of defeating. What the... Okay, well, just getting a, a, a sense again, I'm just getting a lay of the land here. Um, oh god, I'm so screwed, I have no idea what to do now. Oh my god, where should, okay, right. Okay, while I'm still getting a lay of the land, I'm going to go up to the other place, the other route that I saw that I could go. I can actually find my way back there. Oh, hello. Oh my god. I'm gonna need to learn how to fight those big rocky things. I just feel like my current weapon is not up to the task. Like it felt like it was bouncing off them without doing anything. Not very nice, that. Maybe I should I should be like cashing these souls in and leveling up or something. I'm just scared I'm going to do it wrong and waste them somehow. Okay, there's just more stuff up there. Okay. Trying to get a decent strategy for fighting these guys. I think it's just patience more than anything. Just need to not just charge it and button mash at them. Pretty much like everything else, and I still haven't learned that. The basic principle of this game: don't just run up to things and button mash because they will just kill you. It's amazing how hard it is to unlearn that habit from every other game ever.
Did I go past it? I feel like I went past the... Oh no, it's up here. I think. Better fight this guy first though. So I can deal with these guys if they're on their own. I feel like, like, I feel like one of them at a time is fine. But sadly, can't always rely on them to be on their own. Was this a, I hope this was actually a route and not just like a dead end. It might be a dead end. Back. Oh, I see. I feel like that doesn't bode well, because it probably means that this is a, a higher level area that I shouldn't be in yet. I almost feel like I should double back and go to the place with all the stone soldiers and just try and fight them. What are you? Is that one another one of those weird lizard things? If so, I don't have much of a chance of beating it. It's ominously quiet down here so far. Oh yeah, that was what the noise was. It was you, wasn't it? Oh my god. Is it even worth trying to fight you? I'm supposed to stab you in the back. If you would let me go round like this, that would... Okay. Well, that is... Better than nothing, but not as much damage as I would hope to do, ideally. Um, if you could just, like... There you go. Okay, just just let me get that distance again. And good. Just keep... Yeah, Alright. I can deal with this pattern if you just keep doing that. Thank you. Okay, let me, let me get a bit of stamina back. Thank you. Nice swing. Let me hit you. Okay, I'm hitting your shield there. It'd be nice if I could take a drink, but I don't know if you're going to give me a chance right now. Also concerned I'm going to fall off the edge of this cliff. me and my silly fear of heights. <laughs> oh god. Right. I wonder if this is the sort of thing that is gonna stay dead if I kill it. It does feel like it's the sort of thing I shouldn't necessarily be fighting yet, but like, on the other hand, I'm not... Like, I've taken a, a significant chunk of damage off it. And it's not completely massacring me, so maybe it is actually... Maybe this is where I should be. Like, it seems... 
no no harder than those stone things up in the garden, but maybe I'm maybe I just didn't find the right technique for killing those. This guy seems fairly sort of ineffective in terms of actually hitting me. Like, he does it occasionally, but in, compared to other enemies, he does miss quite a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll, I take that back. You're, you're great, you're great. Okay, it feels like he's got only like half health now. I'm, I'm not. Sure, I don't think I'm going to beat him this goal, but it doesn't seem totally outside the realm of possibility, as it did with um, the gargoyle and with um, with the um, stone soldiers in the garden and with the the moth. The, what was it? Moonlight butterfly, which I didn't even see a way to hit at all. Like it was just flying around. I don't. I, do I have a ranged weapon? I haven't even tried um, using a ranged weapon yet, and I probably need to learn, because I'm guessing there are parts of the game that you really, really need one for. Um, possibly like that boss. Oh yeah, it oh I see, yeah, that's a good tip about hitting him in the back. It does way more damage. Okay. I don't know if I have a great reliable strategy for getting around there though. Maybe I need to wait for him to attack first. Yeah, I don't think I do. There we go. Oh god. It would be absolutely fantastic if you would stay dead after I kill you. I mean, it'd be nice if I could kill you first. Let's not gloss over that. I'm not taking that for granted in any way, shape, or form, but... Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have... I got cocky then. Right. Try to be cautious now. Hit me. God. Hit me. Shit! Okay. That was so bloody close to killing him. Right. I'm gonna go this way again. Sorry for the creaking of my swivel chair, by the way. From what I've seen of my previous videos, it's a constant refrain throughout the, the thing. I have had the swivel chair for some years, and it is visibly falling apart. Um, also, I'm quite fat. So those are your explanations for that. Um, not going to make excuses, apart from the ones that I just made. Okay, right. I'm going back to Dark Rip Basin, and I'm going to try and get kill that knight. Um, and hope that he stays dead. I don't expect him to, because I feel like he's probably quite... He's probably a slightly higher level enemy that I'm not really supposed to be fighting yet. And therefore, he's not going to have that special status of enemy that... That um, stays dead when you kill it. But I may be wrong about that. Maybe being a bit self-aggrandizing by assuming that it is a higher level enemy. Or, and not just the sort of thing that I could easily kill by now if I was better at the game. Oh god, there's two of them now. Uh, need to get better at these guys. These guys are still really annoying. There we go. Okay. 
really not sure this is where I'm supposed to be going. Like, there's so many ways that I could have gone, and I just saw a big enemy and then ran away. Just been looking for the place with the smallest enemy. The most manageable seeming enemy. And assuming that's the place I'm supposed to go next. But I may be very much mistaken in that. Right, okay. There's also another route that I didn't take down here. Oops, maybe they fell off the edge. zone here. My comfort zone in this game is not particularly big. I think that is one of those lizard things, is it? I don't know. Never really worked out what the first one did, but I still haven't really messed with the inventory and like all the, all the systems of this game yet. There's a lot that I still don't know. Did I drop off the edge of this ledge over here and land on that one? Looks like I could probably can. Right. Are those better than what I have? I don't think they are. What I have looks a lot more impressive anyway. Yeah. Certainly seems to be have better stats. Okay, well. Is there even a way down that doesn't involve me dying? <sighs> Not convinced about that. Okay. Right, there's that way. Which leads, seems to lead into like a valley with trees or something looks a little bit different from this area. And then there's this way which has the knight, which I I swore I would defeat. Should, uh, let's just explore this way a little bit first. See what see what's over here and then um, we can come back for the knight if if death does not swoop in and grasp us in its icy claw. bridge up there. Oh god, I wish I I wish I could like piece together where everything is relative to other things. Like I'm sure this map is not as big as it seems, but like because I don't know where I am in relation to everything else, it's very easy to feel very lost. Okay, there is a big Frost thing over there that is charging towards me. Uh, right, let's just let's have a quick go of this and see how impossible it is to fight. Okay, taking a little chunk off its health already, so maybe it's not as okay. That was horrible. Okay, right. Okay, you seem. Seem like a nice enough fellow. Not overly impossible to kill. Which is what I look for in a friend. So what do you say? Oh my god. It's a nice club you got there. Crap. Oh my god, right, um, I am going to... Am I going to back off the edge of a cliff here? It feels like I am. 
balls. Okay. Oh my god. Right, this is the way that I came, so I think I'm okay. But Jesus. Please, just do something. There we go. He can attack pretty quickly if he puts his mind to it. That's an unfortunate thing about this guy. He doesn't always have a massive wind-up on his attacks like some people do. Oof! Right. Hit me. Ow. Not like that. Oh my god. Right. Someday I'm going to actually kill an enemy that is not just one of the ones I've killed hundreds of times already. Like, I was so close to killing that knight, and then I was so close to killing that guy. I'm going to make it my mission to kill both of them before the knight is through. The knight with a K will be through before the knight without a K will be through. Is my very non-catchy way of explaining that. Am I going the right way? Uh, yes, I am. You're a rubbish tree, you can't even stay still. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. I'm getting fairly disoriented here. Pretty sure this this uh, area is designed to be fairly disorienting because it's just a lot of very dark spaces with undead. With not many distinguishing features. A lot of hazy green undergrowth. Sorry, I'm not as chatty today as I have been on previous recordings. It's probably a blessing. Last one, I think I was a little bit manic. 
But yesterday I had a had a fairly sort of low day in terms of mood and don't think I've entirely recovered from that. I'm fine, but like still kind of a, a little bit wanting to curl up into a ball and just comfort eat and comfort watch stuff and comfort play stuff and all that. I mean, I'm very often in that mood, but yeah, um, yesterday was more so than usual, I don't know why. Sometimes it's just like that, and you, you don't know why, but it happens. need to just not let it define like who you are as a person I guess and just like I re recognize the general trends of your moods like and accept that you're gonna have bad days even when you're generally doing better like it's, it's fairly rare now for me to have a day like yesterday where I'm just like I don't want to talk to people and I'm um, actively up upset for no good reason. Like, pretty happy that um, that thing, that sort of thing doesn't happen much anymore. But it used to happen a lot more before I was on medication. But I won't talk about medication because I've talked about it a lot on the internet. You can go and read my blog on alexperrywriter.co.uk if you want to get um way deeper into my personal feelings and stuff than you ever wanted to. Um, yeah. I will leave that for you to do on your own time if you wish to. It's not really what Let's Plays are supposed to be about. Let's Plays are fun! It's Let's Play, not Let's Discuss Depression and Mental Illness and the stigma attached to it and all that fun stuff. But maybe it should be. No. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Still figuring out this format. I don't know what is an appropriate thing to talk about. So I will occasionally just branch off into something that, you know, isn't... Maybe isn't the most fun, light topic of conversation. Let's try and fight this bloody knight. Hi there. Right. Remember me? The guy you killed earlier? That's right. I'm back to finish the job. Oh wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh god. You're gonna back me all the way into that bloody ice thing, aren't you? Oh, oh no, you're just going to push me off the edge. I say push. You didn't push me. I just walked backwards off the edge. But but for insurance reasons, let's just all agree that he pushed me. I'm not sure if insurance is a thing in this world. It's a dark, dingy place full of all the most depressing, soul-crushing things in the world. So I'm guessing insurance is a thing. Get it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Right. I wonder if I should try and fight that ice thing first. It actually felt like that was slightly easier than the knight, but... I don't know. Yeah, let's try the ice thing first, because I felt like I got that down easier than the knight. I just was not careful enough and ended up dying. Whereas the knight, I felt like it was a bit of a fluke that I got him down that far at all. Maybe not the best attitude. But, you know, 
The best attitude isn't always the best attitude. That's my attitude. I'm just saying things now. I don't even know what I mean anymore. Like, I... Yeah, part of this is just... Part of the whole let's playing thing for me is just like... Maybe if I talk enough, something profound will eventually come out and I can use that. That will make me rich and famous and I won't have to... All the other stuff will, will be forgotten, but I, I'll be remembered for saying one very clever thing in the midst of all this garbage. Don't think it's happened yet, but we can but hope. If you spot what it is, if you spot the um, really profound thing that I say at some point during this series, please let me know because I might just completely miss it. Answers on a postcard. Or in the YouTube comments, which I may never read. YouTube comments scare me because they are, um, no offence to anyone watching who is a commenter, but they are the absolute worst place in the world full of the absolute scum of humanity but I appreciate you watching I just might not read the comments because you know um, the moderation on YouTube seems a little bit non-existent or at least it it has done when I, last time I read the comments which was a long time ago because I I don't ever want to do that again. Um, it's a it's a, a nightmare place where nightmare people uh, hang out and make their nightmares real via the verbal medium. It's it's a hive of racism, misogyny, just general horribleness, bullying, like the worst traits of of humanity. Um, so yeah, I, I want absolutely nothing to do with YouTube comments. Um, I've left them open because it seems sort of like a, um, a, I don't know, it seems like an overly sensitive thing to do to, to turn them off, but if, if anyone ever posts a comment on one of these videos, which is a big if, because I don't know if anyone will ever watch them apart from me to relive my glory days when I'm older and I'm like, oh, remember that time I played through Dark Souls? If anyone does ever post a comment, I'm just not sure that I will read it. I might just be like, what the fuck is that? That's not what I'm going to be like, but what is that? What is that thing over there? Jesus. Okay, there's a... Right, there's a, some sort of Hydra or something over there. That That is not encouraging. Let's just try and... Oh god, there's like four of these ice things. There's four of these ice things, at least. You know what that means? That means that they're an ordinary enemy. It's not even like a one-off special thing that will stay dead if I kill it. It's like a, an entire category of enemy that I'm going to have to learn to deal with in the future. Oh god. And they see you from a very long way away compared to other enemies. Like, that was miles away and it just came after me. Oh my god. Hello. And that, that attack gets you even if you have your shield up. That's useful to know. So if it leaps in the air, then I want to dodge away. I don't want to just raise my shields. That's another thing that I have to remember. It's too many things to remember. Oh no, it's not when it leaps up in the air. It's when it like stretches backwards like that. I want to dodge away. Oh my god. Hello. Yeah, she 
you dodged away then. Should have listened to my own advice. But I am pretty bad at doing that. Oh, didn't do it fast enough that time. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to kill this this time. I would love to. I'm not sure what the point of killing it is, considering there's like three more of them and there's no way I'm going to be able to kill them all. And also there's a bl bloody big Hydra thing in the water, I think. Unless it was just some water effect that I was... It was like messing with my eyes. I think it was like a Hydra or something. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Getting there with this guy. Oh, not fast enough again. He's gonna kill me. Oh, God. You're a tough cookie. Or a fox's glass for your mint. Okay, well... Does that effect that he just did mean that he's going to stay dead? Like the, the sort of melting away into dust particle things? Because I feel like I've seen things do that before and they have then stayed dead, but I don't want to count on that. Okay, I'm going to go over to the um, his friends and see if see if any more of them want to fight me, which I'm guessing they do. I don't suppose that was just a particularly violent example of its species and all the others are going to be like, ah, actually sorry about Fred over there. He's, he's a very violent guy. We're, the rest of us are we don't approve of that sort of thing at all. It doesn't seem like that's what's happening so far. It seems like Fred was exactly the the sort of prototypical example of his kind. Don't want to be racist against ice things, but so far my experience with them has not been positive. Hello. Damn it! Should have known you were ready to come back for a second swing there. You could do it again? No, okay. Bollocks. Don't have a good feeling about this fight. If Fred stays dead, then at least I can, like, pick these guys off one by one. But I just don't see Fred staying dead. Like, these, these seem like too generic a type of en enemy for him to stay dead. If it was just a one-off ice thing, then maybe, but... Too much to hope for that they all do. They all stay dead when you kill them. Okay. Jesus. What are you doing? Gonna come back for a second swing. No. Okay. Okay. Well, killed two of those things. There's another one there. There's another one there. 
Um, just as an experiment, I want to. I mean, I'm going to die when I fight the next one, obviously, but. And that is definitely a monster in the water there. Um, but I just want to see if they come back. Like. You there, you can. Oh my god! Well, that thing can shoot you from a long way away. And it just killed the other ice thing! <laughs> oh my god! I could have just let that thing kill the ice things. Jesus. Okay, well, let's... Right, let's go and look and see if those ice things are still around. If there's, if all four of them are back, then I'm giving up on them for the moment. And I'm going to go fight that knight instead. And hope that he's a permadeath kind of guy. Ah, oh, right. Right then. Help me, ghost friend. Go away, other tree. One tree's enough. Just Okay, that's a new one. What the hell just shot me with a fireball? I'm very confused. Is it like a trap or something? Did it even wait, no no, I got an extra Estus flask. What? I don't know what has happened there at all. I thought I got shot with a fireball, but I can't. I got an extra Estus flask. What? This is going on. Not a question at all. Didn't know nice things happened in this game. Thought any surprise that you got while you were exploring was always going to be a horrible thing. Balls. Okay. Gonna um, make good use of that extra flask then. Right. Going going to check on my ice friends, and then I am going to check on my night friend. Nice to have so many friends. Again, there's that bloody lizard thing and it disappears before I can get to it. There must be a way of getting to it. Again, until I can figure out what they do, it's not, it's not much point in investigating that. Right. Ice guys. Where are you? Where my ice guys at? Is 
that one over there. There's one there. They're all back. They're all back. Okay. None of them are dead. Good to know. Very good to know. Okay. Also, that Hydra thing will kill me. If, even if I kill all of them, it will still kill me. So, this, I feel like there's almost no point in going that way right now. But I'm going to get to the stage where I feel that way about every option that I have. I mean, I'm almost there already, to be honest. Pfft, right. Tell me your night. I really hope you're the sort that stays dead. Like, that would be a blessing if that's the case. be amazing. No offense or anything, but it would be so great to never see you again after this. Okay, not really hitting his back there. Maybe I need to swing with... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, hello. Right, I don't want to light that bonfire right now, because if I end up, like, stuck on the other side of him, then that is not great. And I can't get back. Okay, right, I'm going to drink it. Could I push him off the edge? Is there any chance that that's going to happen? I don't think so, because he's... seems fairly stable on his feet. So I don't think I can actually really knock him off balance that much. I'll see you, sir. Okay. This feels like an alright place to fight him, at least. Because, like, if he does stuff like that, then I can get in loads of hits on his back. That's pretty good. Want to do another leap across here? I do wonder if you're going to come back. Come on. Oh, balls. Ow! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Wall, that's annoying. Yeah. Whoa. Doing all right, doing all right.
no. Got greedy there as well. Last Estus Flask, come on. Just die. Don't you want to end this game? We could be, both be here forever fighting. Unless you just lay down your arms. And die like a man. Like a knight. More of a gender neutral term. That's better. I felt bad about saying like a man because I don't want to perpetuate any unhelpful ideals of masculinity. For, men, for many reasons. Maybe that women want to, to die for a cause that they believe in, and maybe that men don't want to do that. Excellent. Black Knight Shield. Right. That is pretty good. Uh, whoops. Let's have a look at that shield. See if it's better than the one I have right now. Baldur Shield. Black Knight Shield. It's very slightly better than the one I have now. Woo! Okay. Well, I'll take it. Um, let's go in here and... I'm still slightly worried this bonfire is going to be a mimic bonfire. Don't even know if that's a thing, but it seems like it would be in this game. I can find out very quickly if the if the knight has come back. That's one good thing about having a bonfire here. Oh, blood sin. I'm gonna go back and look at the, look for the knight right now just to see. See if I need to feel depressed about the road back or not. Don't actually know where he started. Can't see him. That's great. That's awesome. Okay, down here is all. It's just a um, an item. Isn't that better than no? Okay, right, so this is another way forward, or it's a way somewhere, it might not be forward, but there's a bonfire which suggests it might be a way forward. Um, right. Try not to lose track of all the different paths that there are for me to choose between. Okay, there's something bad in here, obviously. There's a lever here. Okay, maybe maybe it's just people fall to their deaths during that shaft. Maybe. Where does this lead to? Or is there going to be an enemy on this? No? Okay. Oh, it goes down. I was sort of hoping it was going to go up to somewhere I'd been before and it was going to be like one of those nice moments where I was like, oh, this connects to the land of fluffy bunnies or something. Make the whole place seem less intimidating, but no, it's, it takes me down again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there's a lever to bring it back. That's good. I was worried I'd just trap myself down here. Be wary of Drake. Oh, oh, hello. Valley of Drake. I'm discovering new areas left, right, and center. Hello. You must be the Drake that I've heard about. I don't know enough about Drake, the musical artist, to make a amusing reference, but just insert if you if you know about him then just insert your own there and it'll be very funny. Oh god. You do seem quite tough, Mr. Drake. And 
there's another one of you over there, which I'm... And this is called the Valley of Drakes, rather than the Valley of One Drake, which is also not encouraging. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be a recurring theme in this part of the world. It's just a hunch that I have. There's another one right on... Oh god, there's loads of them! There's four right here. It's like those ice things all over again. Sorry to compare you to an ice thing. It's probably very offensive to a fire being such as yourself. Am I dead? No, I'm not. Will be in a minute, though. Yep. Well... To do next. This Valley of Drakes seems rather intimidating. You know what I could do is I could like that Black Knight right there. It's the same sort of Black Knight that um, that I've seen back in the um, Undead Burg. So now that I know that I can take him down, maybe I can take down the one in the Undead Burg. Maybe. Or maybe I'm barking up entirely the wrong tree here. Um, but I just kind of want to go back somewhere more familiar and less intimidating than here. Like, I'm scared of being here. I don't know what. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, and it would just be nice to be in slightly more familiar territory again. And. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's go back there. And then, then I'll end the video. Um, See if I if I can actually make it back there. It's quite a long way to go, isn't it? Um, if I can actually remember the entire way back there, that would be impressive. Also, it serves the purpose of. Oh, hello. So I can get you from the below. From below, you don't have enough time to get away. You're still probably still going to get away though. But still, I'm, I've got a bit more health off you. There we go. More titanite stuff. That I don't know what to do with. Great. That's an unwanted Christmas present, if ever there was one. Okay. Oh my, 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 my. It also serves the purpose of, like, refreshing my memory of the layout of this place so I don't forget about anything important. Like, I'm slightly concerned about just totally losing my memories of what has come before. Therefore, not knowing what to do. I, I also have, I think I have a key that I have never used as well. So that might actually come in useful somewhere. Oh god, there's two of these things at once. That's not what I want. I didn't want this to happen. Try and get back to the Undead Burg. It's a long way and there's all sorts of nasties that will have respawned in my path, but. And there's this bloody thing in here, actually. I've forgotten about this. I have to try and get past this guy, but. Oh well. Don't mind me. Seems like you can only like turn around a little bit at a time. That's interesting. Maybe maybe not. Maybe I'm, 
mistaken. He just dips into my oh, balls. Just don't. What is your problem? Back up here. Oh, come on. Let me. Oh, God. A very narrow staircase. Right. Hello. I also want to work out what the hell's going on with all the stuff in my inventory. Like, maybe I can do that as well. Maybe I could, like, level up a little bit as well. Maybe if, if I look at these soul things that I collected. I assume they contain enough souls for me to level up with, but I'm, I'm not actually sure because I've never actually done anything with them before. So I've got six souls of a lost undead. If I use item... Let's use one and see what it does. Okay, so I get 200 from that. Surely that's... If I use all of these items, surely I will have enough to level up with. Okay, how much do I get from a... Oh god, there's a lot of these. Um, uh, soul of a proud knight. Large soul of lost and dead. Okay, let's use one of these and see how much that gives me. That's 400. And. Large soul of a nameless soldier is. 1000. Excellent. And. Soul of a proud knight is. 2000. Okay, right. So that's enough to level up. At least once or twice. Uh, vitality. I'm gonna have to do this again. Sorry, I do this every time, but I don't want to level up the wrong thing. I'm sure they're all good, but HP. I could always do with more of that. Stamina. Strength. Yeah, I guess vitality, endurance, stamina, and strength are all. Our strength and resistance are all pretty useful. Let's go with resistance. Looks like having more defense. Uh, right, let's use some more of these souls. I think I can probably get one more level if I if I use all of these. Let's use two. Most of all. How many more souls do I need to level up? I need 3,600 something, so if I use this... Oops. Uh, I use this. And then one of... No, a couple of the other things. Let's use one of these, actually. It should give me enough to level up again. Right. Let's level up. Um, strength. Okay. And achievement slots I still don't know what to do with. I probably should work that out, because I have leveled them up, and... That was a waste of time unless I actually used them, I'm guessing. Uh, what else do I have in my inventory? Boost stamina recovery. Ah, I've got a cure to poison now, that's good to know. Uh, boost power of Estus Flask. I wonder if that's permanent. If that's permanent, then that's amazing, but I don't know if it is. That's the trouble. Uh, I used to gain one humanity. I should try and remember that, because I don't know what that means. But humanity is a mechanic that is important, I believe. Uh, let me also just see if I can equip any other weapons now that I have a better strength. No, I can't. Uh, Halberd. Does it 
tell you what you need strength you need to use it. Oh right, you need you also need something else. Twelve of hand? Is hat is that just dexterity or what? Yeah, dexterity. Oh, so I need one more dexterity to wield it. Okay, I can't level up anymore just now. Uh, I'm just gonna bloody use this because if if it is a temporary thing, I'm never going to like use it anyway. So I might as well just use it. Okay. Um, that's done now. No going back. We'll take back seas. Uh, what else? Titanite shards. I should try and work out what reinforcing means if it's just a, like a um, curing durability or if it's actually increasing the strength. Opens door leading into lower undead berg. Pilgrim's key. I don't know. Lost track of all the keys and everything now. Okay, right. Um, I'm not going to mess with kindling and stuff just now because I still just have no idea and I might mess it up. Um, let's go and find that, that Black Knight and end the video with an epic battle, which will probably result in me getting squished into paste. guys as well. Hello, missed you. You missed me. Oh, you have, haven't you? I can actually see my strength getting better because it like it, it is taking them down further. That's kind of satisfying. Still takes three hits, but if I level up my strength a couple more times it might only take two. Which is nice. There's also a guy over um, here that I haven't fought yet who's guarding an item. I fought this guy before. But it's a guy further along that I haven't. Yeah, these guys seem to be going down faster, actually. That's nice. That's very nice, considering I actually was having a bit of trouble with them before. Hello. There's also the Triceratops, who I could try and fight, but I feel like he's probably still a little bit out of my... Um, out of my league. something I love in games about going back to an area that you've been in before and being much better at it than you were then and being like, ha, you guys mean nothing to me. I mean, that's not really what's happening here because they're still a threat, but they're a lot easier than they were. Like a couple of videos ago, I was like, dying over and over and over again to guys like that. Okay. There's a guy in here that I want to fight. I think he's just a normal one of these guys, actually. I don't think he's, he's even that tough. He just seemed tough when I first met him. And he jumps back a lot, can not I wonder if that down there is the Dark Rick Garden. I think it must be. Yeah, it must be, I think. 
Because I could see a bunch of towers and castles and bridges and stuff from down there. Right. There's my Triceratops friend. Here I am back in the church. There's a bunch of stuff in here that wants to kill me, isn't there? Oh wait, is this the church? No, this isn't the church. This is the weird little building with a bunch of low-level zombie things in it. No offense, but you're really not very difficult to kill. I mean, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, okay, I can drop down. That's good to know. This leads back. This is right out to where the Triceratops is. It's going to kill me if I go out this way. Unless. Unless I can find a way to just avoid it or. And just run away from it very fast. <laughs> Not sure if that's a great strategy, but. Better than nothing. Um, or I could try and fight it and see how tough it actually is. Because I ha still haven't actually found that out. It's like it might not be as tough as it looks. I'm guessing it probably is. But... Yeah, but certainly the, the front is not particularly vulnerable. I didn't think it would be. A lot of armor plates there. Okay. Come back, you. Come back. Hey. You. Mister. Whee! What am I even doing? This is madness. Can you get down here? Yeah, you can get down here. I don't think you can get through this door, though. Famous last words. Well, I feel like I deserve that for my clumsy charging through. You know what would be easier? It would probably be easier to go down to the... Um, would it? I don't know if it would be easier to go down to the Firelink Shrine. Maybe it would. Yeah, I think it might actually, and then walk, work my way back up through the Undead Burg. Let's do that. Also, oh, I also want to fight the Black Knight at the top of that tower that I was just at, actually. Like the one near the Triceratops. There's a Black Knight up there that I, I've previously run away from that now seems less intimidating. Um, I mean, they're still fairly difficult. I should remember that and not get cocky, but I have taken one down now, so I'm a little bit less primally terrified of them. Hi. Okay. Also, the fewer Black Knights there are around, the better, and they seem to stay dead when you kill them, which is nice. Just generally, it'd be nice to kill as many things that stay dead when you kill them as possible, so that I don't have to keep worrying about them. Right. Down to the fire link. Then up to the burg. Nice to remember the simpler times when I was 
running around in the undead bird. It seems like a lifetime ago now. And it really, really isn't. It was a few days ago I was there. I'm feeling like that was the hardest thing in the world. on video that bit. I kind of skipped into the game a little way, but you just mostly miss the t t tutorial and the getting up here, which you're about to see anyway. Assuming I actually manage to do it without dying, which hopefully I will. Like, it shouldn't be that difficult for someone who's taken down a Taurus Demon and a Black Knight and everything. used any fire bombs. Maybe I should. I think there's a poison thing in here. Like a rat or something. Here it is. Can I actually kill this thing? It's just so narrow this bit. Yeah, I can. I'm not sure there's anything I can actually get from here though. No. So up here I think is just the way into the undead burg, which you would recognize from the beginning of this series. Because someone said you could jump down there. It's quite possible. Uh, okay. Oops. I actually can't remember where to go from here. It's been a while since I was at this bit. Oh, hello. Missed you. Aha, here it is. Yep. Here I am. Right up here, past these guys, is the bonfire where, bonfire where I started. If I can get there without dying, it would be great. I am being way too complacent here. These guys can still kill me if I'm not actually being careful. You guys can also die. Okay, maybe, maybe that guy can die first. Guys can just stay over there for now. Right. Come up here, you. Don't get stuck in there like a couple of wallies. 
Oh my god. Please don't kill me, that would just be really embarrassing. Close to the bonfire. So close. Don't kill me. There we go. Only reason I struggled with that was pure laziness and complacency on my part, because I know perfectly well how to deal with those guys now, and I just wasn't bothering. Right. Here is the initial bonfire that I started at. I started the series at, rather. So, yeah. It may feel like I've got nowhere, but in fact, I've got everywhere. Right. So, let's see how good I am at this. Oh, Jesus. I forgot these guys come back. <laughs> Still, I haven't learned. After all this time. That's quite impressive. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Be silly. No time for your faffing around. We've got actual enemies to fight. Coming out. Yes. this door yet? No. It doesn't even open from this side. Damn it. Another guy. Come out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right. Is that place down there? Don't know how to get there. Also, this bit that says there's a secret here. I wonder if there's actually a way that I can. Is there a hidden wall? Is it not a hidden wall, but it's a illusory wall? It doesn't seem like it. I don't know what that guy's talking about. It's got a 90 rating though. There must be something here. I have no idea. Right. Oh god. I forgot about all you guys. Got me though, have you? Right. Is there anyone coming down here? No. Not gonna bother. Absolutely fine. No skin off my nose. God, no! Jesus. I feel like that guy's gonna sneak up behind me any second as well. Because that's just the sort of thing he would do. Oh no, he's still up there. That's fine. Stay up there, that's fine. I don't care. Bothered. Right. Now. 
let's have a look at this guy. Is this the same kind of Black Knight that I fought up there? I don't know if it is. I'm not sure, but we'll find out, I guess. Okay. Seems to be possible to hit him at the very least and do a bit of damage. He can also block his attacks reasonably well. He's fairly a fairly big health pool by the look of it. I think it might be the same kind that I fought in the Dark Rip Basin, maybe. Seems like a similar sort of amount of HP that he has. So it should theoretically be possible for me to defeat him, but still difficult. One more go at defeating him, and then I'll call it a night. Don't want to waste too much time trying to defeat him. I mean, it's not a waste of time. I want to defeat him. I'm going to at some point. For completionists, for completionism's sake. Is that a word? Completionism? Probably is. If you can have an ist, you can have an ism. Is that the profound thing? Let me know in the comments and I will not read them. to go in there. I don't think he's going to come out unless I disturb him. It just seems cruel to kill him for the sake of it. Be. Not doing anyone any harm. Same with those guys up there. Like, he didn't come down last time, so I'll just leave him. You, on the other hand, don't let you shooting me during this battle. Oh yeah, that's where I died from the Black Knight last time. I don't have a lot of faith in my ability to win this fight. Um, it did seem like he was pretty tough. Oh god, well, <laughs> didn't even win that fight. That one didn't count. That one didn't count. Going again. I have to actually make it to the Black Knight for it to count. Book recommendation, by the way. His Bloody Project by Graham McRae Burnett. It's a very good book. I finished it today. It's for my book club and we have a lot to talk about, I believe. I won't say too much about it, but it's very good. Maybe I should say a bit about it, so just so you know. I can sell it a bit more than just saying it's good. Uh, it's about a, a um, murder case in, um, I think it's 18th century Scotland, in the Highlands. 18th or 19th. Um, Oldie timey Scotland. It's about um, a case where some people are murdered 
try this guy. Um, we're not entirely sure why at first, and then we get a bit of explanation of that. Oh no, yeah, that's all I'll say. It's very good. It's very morally complex and uh, gripping, and I it was one of those books where I was reading the last kind of little bit of it with my hand over the page, um, just moving it slowly down so that I didn't accidentally read ahead and spoil something for myself, because I was like, oh my god, I really want to know this one thing that's, that I know is going to happen, or that I want I want to know if it's going to happen, um, and, you know, I don't want to see it on the page before I actually get there, so I was like, genuinely covering the page. So yeah, it's that kind of book. It gets very... I got very invested in it. Maybe you won't, but I did. There's a lot of um, really believable characters in it as well. That just feel incredibly familiar despite being like from a fairly different sort of place than me. Come here. I may have made it sound like it's a sort of um, sensationalist, kind of um, dark, gritty thing, but it's not really. Um, just because I'm hacking people to pieces as I, as I describe it. It's not really about that, despite it being centred around murder, it's a bit more thoughtful and psychological than that. Like the name kind of suggests something a bit more visceral and non-stop violent, but it's not really like that. Certainly violence in it, and some quite graphic descriptions, but nothing... It's, it's not, like, relentless. There's plenty of it that's about life in this little village of Kaljui. Um, which is very interesting as well. Anyway, I'll stop going on about that. It's just my little book review corner, which is another thing that I'm not supposed to, I'm not sure you're supposed to do in a, a Let's Play video, but I will do it. Because I have no respect for the format. Or I have no no real knowledge of how to achieve, how to conform to the format. Like, I've watched a lot of Let's Plays, but I don't really, I still don't really, there's a difference between, like, watching and consuming something and knowing how to make it. Like, it seems effortless sometimes, but when you actually do it, you realise to talk this long is not effortless by any means. It's a lot of effort. Um, even if you're just talking about what's going on on screen. Okay, I'm dead. Um, but yeah, it, it's hard to, It's hard to narrate something that you're doing and make it interesting consistently. And as I'm sure I've demonstrated here by being incredibly boring and rambling off topic all the time. But um, yeah, I have a lot of respect for people who, um, who do this. I say a lot of respect. I mean... There's certainly tougher jobs than being a Let's Player, but I'm sure it, I know it comes with its own like psychological cost. I know people who like get really well. I don't know people, but like I, I've heard of people getting pretty sort of stressed out and um, even depressed by it by doing it for a living, and I can totally understand that. As much as people might sneer at sneer at it being like you're, you're playing games for a living shut up it's like well anything any kind of job um especially a solitary one like that is sort of weirdly solitary despite like connecting with a bunch of people on the internet like it could it could take a toll on you i believe um so there's a thought to end on don't know if that's the profound thing. I don't think that's the profound thing. We're still looking for the profound thing that I say. It's going to happen one of these days. And you better keep checking in um, so that you can hear it. You can be the first to hear it and take take my amazing life advice on board and become a millionaire before anyone else does. And the value of money is 
is um, rendered meaningless. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I'm just going to wave you, you goodbye because I don't have a good way to end this. Actually, I'll bow this time. It was it was an honour to be your let's player for however long this was. I think it was a long one. It was like two hours or something. That's ridiculous. I can't do this every day. But anyway, it was an honour and I bid you good day.